Humanoid robots just got covered in living human skin. With the technological advancement in the field of computer science, artificial intelligence and machine learning, their products have also been quite fruitful in recent times. From automatic driving cars to electric vehicles reaching space, these are just some of the heights that this field has reached. However, robots have been in the industry for quite a while now. But have you heard of humanoid robots? Have you ever seen a robot that looks just like humans? Ever heard of robots that are covered with human-like skin? Ever seen a robot that walks, talks, and acts like a human? Well, we are about to find out. Continue watching the video till the end to know more. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. We hope you guys are doing absolutely well. In this video, we will be talking about the robots that are covered with human skin and have functionalities that are almost comparable to a human being. So if you're new to this channel, then do make sure to hit the subscribe button. Now, without any further ado, let's hop right into the video. Artificial intelligence is the technology which has been considered to be automating every human task. You might have heard of AI taking people's jobs, robots helping in buying groceries, or robots helping in doing your day-to-day -day work. But have you ever heard of a robot that can paint? And on top of that, paint better than a human? Yes, you heard that right. Ida isn't just a robot and she isn't just an artist. She's what her creators call the first ultra-realistic humanoid artist. And her talent is undeniable. We haven't spent eye-watering amounts of time and money to make a very clever painter, said Ida's director, Aiden Meller. This project is an ethical project. Introduced in 2019, Ida is a poet, a painter and a sculptor. In addition to robotic arms, she also has an incredibly realistic face, complete with blinking eyes that scan the room. She draws using cameras in her eyes, her AI algorithms, and her robotic arm. Created in February 2019, she had her first solo show at the University of Oxford, Unsecured Futures, where her art encouraged viewers to think about our rapidly changing world. She has since traveled and exhibited work internationally, and had her first show in a major museum, the Design Museum, in 2021. She continues to create art that challenges our notions of creativity in a post-humanist era. Next up, we have reports from the University of Tokyo in Japan that believe that they have been successful in making the first ever working humanoid finger successfully covered in complete living skin. Our skin model is a complex three-dimensional matrix that is grown in situ on the finger itself, said Professor Shoji Takeuchi, one of the lead authors of the study. This finger is able to bend, stretch, and keep its shape intact just like a regular finger can. And the skin can even heal if damaged, with the help of a collagen bandage and so long as it is in liquid. The researchers believe that this can be the beginning of further innovating this sort of technology that can aid in medical research on skin damage such as deep wounds and burns and can as well help in advancements of manufacturing. Taken together, this research is a major step toward biohybrid robots that have a combination of living materials and artificial materials. Biohybrid robots would exhibit superior sensory capabilities, highly efficient energy conversion, self-organization, and self-repair functions like living organisms, which have thus far been difficult to achieve for artificial materials alone, according to the study. Taken together, this research is a major step toward biohybrid robots that have a combination of living materials and artificial materials. Biohybrid robots would exhibit superior sensory capabilities, highly efficient energy conversion, self-organization, and self-repair functions like living organisms, which have thus far been difficult to achieve for artificial materials alone, according to the study. Thus, by doing so, the researchers have brought androids a major step closer by crafting living human skins on robots. But how would wrapping up a robot in living human skin be helpful? Great question! By doing so, it would help robots to resemble humans and could improve their integration with our society. Thus, we could start liking the robots more, trust them more, and would also be able to communicate with them better. Next up, we have the most human-like robot that has been given the name Nadine. Scientists at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore have unveiled Nadine, a socially intelligent, human-looking robot complete with her own personality, mood, and emotions. Imagine talking to a customer service agent who was not a human. Every time you talk to a customer service agent, it is assumed that a normal person would be talking to you. But what if your assumptions were wrong, and you could be talking to a speaking robot? That's exactly what Nadine is. It's the most human-like robot in the world, with a human-like body and lifelike features. 
Nadine is the closest to what a robot could be to a human. She is designed to even recognize you from your previous visit, shake hands, make conversation, keep an eye contact, and also make you believe that you are talking to a real human. It has depth cameras, a microphone, and a webcam to gather visuals and audio inputs. She can assist people with special needs, read stories, show images, put on Skype sessions, send emails, and communicate with the family. It can also make conversations in six different languages. Developed in Japan by the Kokoro Japan, with the software developed at the Nanyang Technological University in Singapore, she is currently employed as a customer service agent at AIA Singapore Insurance Company. Yes, employed. The robot has an altogether 27 degrees of freedom to move her facial muscles and make the upper body movements. She has been acknowledged as a part of the human assistive new technology that has been badly needed as our society cannot afford a full-time social worker for each person with special needs. Nadine is able to play the role of a personal or a private coach who is always available when no other person is made available to you. Last but not least, we have a robot that is so human-like that you can't ever distinguish whether it's a human or a robot. Created by Hiroshi Ishiguro from the Intelligent Laboratory, Erika is the most human-like robot and one of the most intelligent humanoid robots ever developed in Japan. It is developed in such a way that she can easily interact with human beings and make changes to her facial expressions according to the conversation being made. Even though she cannot walk, the robot can possibly make human-like conversations because of the 15 inbuilt infrared sensors in her eyes that can track any movement whatsoever. With built-in face recognition technology and speech generating algorithms that have been built to track different faces in a room and also allow her to make various facial expressions inherently. This robot is so human-like that the developer of the robot thinks that the robot might have a real soul. Also, this human-like robot has been working as a news anchor in one of Japan's news channels. Awesome, right? Imagine getting the latest updates about the world from a robotic but human-like news anchor. With special emphasis being given on her verbal capabilities while being developed, it seems Japan has done a great job. And with this, we have come to the end of yet another amazing video. Did we miss any robots that are more humanoid and less robotic? Is there an existence of a robot that can overtake the job of a human because of its human-like capabilities? Can robots be the future of automating jobs? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. We would love to hear your thoughts on this while we keep working on making more such videos. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Please like the video if you have not already, and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. With that being said, let's meet in another one of these videos. Until then, see ya!